want to change your video podcast setup from this to this. Let me break down how you can get the best possible video setup for your remote recordings. Hey guys, it's James here from Riverside.fm, the platform that allows you to record studio quality video interviews and podcasts remotely. We publish three videos a week here showing you how you can take your recording quality to the next level. So subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. Let's get into this video. There are three main areas you'll need to consider to get a fantastic looking video recording setup. Audio, lighting, video in that order. Yes, you should take care of your audio and lighting before you upgrade your camera kit. Let me quickly show you what I mean. This is what a recording looks like if I invest in a camera first. This is a two and a half thousand dollar camera setup without a microphone or me taking care of any lighting. It looks pretty awful, right? Now this is me adding lighting, looks a little better. Now I'll add my microphone and it's fantastic setup to use. Let's break down how I got here. For an easy setup, you can use a plug and play USB microphone. I'd recommend the Audio-Technica ATR2100X, which is about $80. If you're looking for an option with a bit more control, but you don't want to break the bank, you can go with an XLR microphone like the Shure SM58 for $100, for which you'll need an interface to connect it to your computer. If budget isn't a factor for you and you want one of the best mics out there, then I'd recommend getting the Shure SM7B for around $350, which is the one I'm using in this video. You'll need a game booster for this mic too, which is about $150. Lighting can be as simple as moving your setup to be near a window. As long as it's not harsh sunlight, a window during daytime can often give you a beautiful diffused light, which will look great on video. The trouble with using a window is that the lighting conditions will change during the day and it means you will have to record during the day and you can't record at night time. So here's where we move to controlled lights. We can start to control depth and contrast which will help give you that professional look that you're after. There are three rules of thumb when it comes to choosing a light source. One, you need it to be diffused so there are no harsh shadows. Two, you need the source to be big. And three, you need the source to be close to you. These three things can be solved by getting a softbox for your light. The bigger, the better, depending on how much space you have. I use this Aperture Light Dome, which you can get for around $200. But if you're in a tight space, you can get a Light Dome Mini for around $100 to $150. On a budget, any of the options from Newer or Godox will serve you well. For the actual light source that is being shot through the softbox, you need to get something relatively powerful. I used the Aperture 120D, which I got a couple of years ago for around $700. The combo of the 120D and Light Dome will give you exceptional results. Aperture have since released the 100D, which is around $200 to $300, but I haven't managed to find it in stock anywhere yet. Not quite convinced on spending almost $1,000 on your light, you can get a Godox SL60, which is less powerful, but will only cost you around $130 for the light itself. I did say the camera is the least important, but with the right lighting and audio, a good camera really can make a difference in your video recording setup. Look at the difference between me recording into my laptop webcam. This is me recording into my MacBook Air 720p webcam with all my lighting set up and my Lumix S5 camera. The easiest and most compact option is to record with your iPhone camera using our new mobile app, which can enable you to record in up to 4K resolution. You can watch this video about how to record with our mobile app here. To take a step up, you could invest in a 1080p or 4K webcam. Logitech are the market leaders for webcams and you could pick up their C920 for around 80 bucks or their camera aimed at streamers, the Streamcam for $140. If you're not too constrained by budget, then I'd recommend going for a DSLR or mirrorless camera for which you'll need an Elgato Camlink or similar to use it as a webcam with Riverside.fm. You can go deep into which camera to get, but really any camera with interchangeable lenses is going to give you good results. There are also a large range of cameras at many different price points. You could get an entry level Lumix G7, Canon M50 or Sony A6400, which all come under $1,000. For the next step up, you should get a Lumix GH5 or Lumix S5, which you can get with a kit lens for between $1,500 and $2,000. These are the cameras I use for this video and will give you exceptional 4K recording quality. 
If you want to go all out with your video quality, you might want to look at getting a Sony a7S III or Canon R5, which will set you back almost $4,000 for just the body. I think the sweet spot for a high quality recording setup is the $1,500 to $2,000 range, where you can get some really great cameras and it's where I've been happy to invest up to. Get yourself a nice lens too. For the blurry background, you'll need a fast aperture between f1.4 and f2. This will help you achieve that blurry background. Aim for a wind angle too, depending on the space that you have. I use a $650 Sigma 24 mm f1.4 for these videos. So in order to get the best possible video recording setup for your show, First, invest in audio, which you already may have done. Then focus on upgrading your lighting and then finally look into a camera that can take your recording to the next level. Hopefully this video has helped you with inspiration for what to look at when upgrading your video setup. But what do you currently use for your video recording? Leave a comment below. We're going to be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews and more. So if you want to learn more about starting and growing your podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching.